Enthusiastic introduction, Nick here, I'm back with a fresh, hot, steaming vid. Um, this is sort of a continuation of some videos I've made in the past exploring the lipo versus lithium ion debate, the battle, the saga. I have finally built up the courage to build my own lithium ion pack and in that process I've learned a ton about the technology, the options. I've in the past purchased some pre-built lithium ion packs, learned from that mistake in this case. Here to share more fun facts about the process, what I'd recommend, and some pitfalls I ran into while purchasing lithium ion packs. Here we go. So the journey into finding the best micro long range battery for this uh, micro long range quad has been fun, interesting, uh, challenging, and I'm going to kind of walk you through the process here. So initially, I went online and tried to find uh, a couple pre-made lithium ion packs because everyone was talking about lithium ion, long range, they're the best, that you go forever, blah, blah, blah. So the first one I found was this guy. This is a 2S pack by some company called Strix. Never heard of them, but one of the few I could find. And then there's this one. This is a popular brand, Zod, Lion pack. 3s pack and these are all these are also 3s motors by the way these aren't the 4s ones that come with the uh that come with the flywu explorer these are my own these are the zing zing uh, 4600 kv motors so good for 3s in my experience of working with these pre-built lithium ion packs it's true what they say for the most part is that you gain flight time but you lose power and amps one thing I didn't look at was the fine print on these batteries and both of these batteries have a 10 amp per cell limit so you're getting 30 amps out of this 3s pack and the problem is that when I'm flying this even when I'm cruising I like to cruise fast so I'm trying to cruise at like 45 miles an hour and I was really going way past this that limit I was going on average 50 to 60 amps total so I was doubling the the amp rating for this battery and it was coming in really hot and I was you know damn you're just damaging the battery if you're going over the recommended amperage limit and this one as well is a 10 amp limit so then I thought let me just get a larger lipo pack so I also tested out this 1800 and I got pretty good flight times I was getting I think maybe 12 minutes or so on this so i went online and i found out that people do in fact make lithium ion batteries with higher amp ratings and i found this company molacell and they have a bunch of batteries some are in this 18650 size this is the common size nick from the future here i thought i'd just put together a quick little spreadsheet so you can see the actual numbers so very quickly uh a normal 18650 cell is often 10 amps these are the ones i was initially purchased and was disappointed because i could barely get any juice out of them um you can see though I found this this company Mola Cell. They make three different sizes of lithium ion packs. This is their 18650 coming in at the same weight. Um, quite, you know, you get less capacity when you when you pump up the current, but you have way more flexibility as far as how much power you can squeeze out of this thing. And then if you go 10 grams heavier, this depends on your quad. If you're making you know, a 3S build, that's going to be 30 grams heavier, etc. But if you have the weight to spare, you're going to get a pretty comparable amount of capacity, but way more current, right? We're more than tripling the current for a similar capacity. And then if you really have a ton of weight, let's say you're making a 4-inch or a 5-inch that can handle a heavier lithium ion pack even a seven inch long range quad for 70 grams per cell you get a big chunky 4200 milliamp hours and a big chunky 45 amps and this is actually the pack i use on my micro long range build i made a 3s pack of one of these and it works really well i think a 4s pack if you're if you guys are flying the flywoo explorer um it's going to be a little too heavy you're talking four times 70 280 grams um, but the 3S pack on my 3S motors works really well. So, you know, if your weight can spare it, do your research, get the amount of amps that that's adequate for your flying. 
if you are just flying really really slow and you really want the maximum capacity then you know stick with the normal 10 amp current and I'm gonna put the spreadsheet down below as well as uh, each of these blue uh, underlines links to the uh, product page so back to the main video so this is just a massive juicy beast of a lithium ion pack basically look the moral of the story is this buy whatever lithium ion pack you want but make sure you read the specs of the battery and in my case i couldn't find any pre-made high amperage packs so i had to build my own and i'll also put a link down below for a tutorial on how to put this together it wasn't easy and it wasn't hard it was a little i'm always a little scared soldering together batteries but i found a safe way to do it thanks for watching this saga may continue at some point but for now i feel pretty good about this guy and i might make myself some more all right guys bye